Hi, this is Charlie Tian. I'm the founder and CEO of Guru Focus. In this video, I want to show you one of the new features we have developed, Guru, Google Sheets add-on. First, I want to show you how to install it, then how to use it. And in the third part of the video, I want to show you how to take advantage of the templates we have de developed, and it will save you a lot of time and make it make your research much more powerful and efficient. First, you need to uh, make sure that you're logged in into your Google account. Here I'm logged in because you can see here my uh, Chrome logo. This is a Chrome browser, uh, my Chrome logo here. And it means I'm logged in, I'm logged in as Guru Focus. Uh, okay, once you log in, but okay, uh, first you need to log in and second, Lots of times we log into multiple Google account. You need to make sure that you are logged in only one Google account, and uh, that's the account you want to use for Google Sheet Work uh, Ads on. So if you have two accounts logged in, or logged into two accounts at the same time, log out one of them. Otherwise, you'll get error. So now I show you how to install it, and I click on this install ads on. And uh, it would ask you, it will tell you that you need to log in uh, just one Google account, your, pre your preferred Google account. And uh, now I click on confirm. And now you, we, we actually come to Google Workspace. It's, a, it's a, uh, where you can install Google add-ons. And you can see that Google Fox tools here. This is a Google, uh, Google Focus add-on for Google Sheet and uh, I click on install, continue, and uh, okay, it, it's my account. And uh, then it, it tells you uh, this, what it will allow, it will allow you to edit, create different Google Sheets, connect to external service like uh, Google Fox websites. And uh, there's, yeah, you need to go through this. You need to make sure that uh, you allow all of this then click on log a law and it will install. And it's done. Now, now it's done. The installation is really simple, takes only a few seconds, like 10 seconds. And it's got, it's got installed after I show you. Now it's installed. And now how can we uh, use it? Uh, you, because, uh, yeah, actually the way to use it should be quite simple. And you can come to Google Sheet and you can create a new, new Google Sheet. And I just give it a name, test for instance. And now the difference is that uh, uh, if you click on this extension manual, so under Google Sheets, and you can see that uh, extension manual, the Guru Fox tools uh, is here uh, because you installed the add-on. And once you install and you can open the sidebar, uh, you open the sidebar and here I, because I logged in before. So normally when you first, first time you come here, you, you are logged out. You're not logged in. First you need to log in. And you can log in here with your Guru Focus credentials, your Guru Focus website credentials, exactly the same credentials you use. And you log in. Once you log in, this sidebar will show that um, this can only be used by premium and the premium plus members. Uh, for premium, uh, the, they have the same limitation as a Google Excel add-in. If you're a premium member, you can use this uh, 2,000 queries a month. Uh, but if you're a premium plus member, there's no limit. You can use this uh, all the time, and there's no limit. Uh, there might be any limit that would be applied. That'd be uh, the limit would be put by Google, not by Guru Focus. Um, so in principle, you have unlimited queries with with this. Now I show you how to use it, and it, the way to use it is actually exactly the same as uh, Excel add-in. For instance, if I want to have a uh, a uh, Guru F, it's a, it's a Guru F, same, same function. And I want to have a, fun, a company called Walmart, uh, see its stock price. This, uh, this part is the same as what we have 
in Excel ID and say, now it loads the, the, the stock price for you. And uh, of course we can put Walmart here and just like the way you use Excel ID and, and uh, or Google, uh, normal Google Sheet. Uh, if I put, uh, okay, the D1, this is a cell, cell number. And if I put more, more of this here, more functions here, just use it the same way as you, use, as you, as you use Excel or Google Sheet. And for this one, if I want, uh, I want to put uh, revenue, for instance, a guru F, and uh, I want to put this here, and the uh, revenue. Uh, it, it should load revenue for you. The, my revenue is in millions of dollars. The unit for those is a million of dollars. And uh, you can also get, for instance, uh, the the financial statement, the income statement, I, I, just, I just show you here, equals, the way you use it is exactly the same as you use uh, normal Google Sheet and, or Excel. Um, if I, for instance, I want income statement. It should load the income statement for me. If it doesn't load, I will show you another thing. Okay, yeah, it loads the income statement for me. Uh, and uh, you can see that's, it's, it's very simple to use, but uh, sometimes we know that uh, most, most of the time, actually we don't know the, we don't know the uh, ticker. We don't know the, uh, the fun, the, it's called uh, the parameters we will use. Uh, and, uh, and now you can, if we don't know, for instance, how to spell the revenue, how to how to call balance sheet, how what all the um, names are called, the serial name is called, we can actually use this button called Insert Guru F. It's an assistant it, to help you to use it and help you to do it, make it more powerful. For instance, here, if I put Walmart here and I want the income statement, again, income statement. If you just type it here, it will help you to search it. And the date, I, I not only just want income statement of this year, I want income statement of from 2015, for instance, 2015 to, actually I want income statement of last three years, and that's last four years, I just type a negative four here, the past four years, and I want annual, and I want to show the date, I want to show in vertically, and uh, the order is ascending. So it, it gives you a lot more parameters that you can control. And uh, now if I click on insert, uh, yeah, it gives me the last four years of financial statement, income statement. Uh, you can see it's, it's because I asked it to show vertically, it's showing vertically this way. And if I change it, if I just change it to, to instead, instead of vertical and change it to horizontal. And uh, it, you, you can see it's loading and uh, it will, yeah, it will show you the financial statement, the income statement of what we normally see uh, 2018, uh, 2000, yeah, until last year. Actually, it, sh it should, yeah, it shows five, last five years and all the income statement items. And based on this, you can create a lot more chart. You can, a uh, lot, lots of things, your own module, your uh, different charts, and uh, create your own research templates uh, so that it will be very easy. And the next time, all you, all you need to do, if you want to, for instance, if I, instead of Walmart here, I put, I put uh, uh, C1 here, I put uh, D1 here, which is a cell, cell number of, of Walmart, it do the same thing, but now this time I just change the ticker. I just change the ticker, and everything will change for you. And now everything is for Apple, for Apple price, Apple revenue, and Apple income statement. And yeah, it, you only need to change the ticker, and uh, and if you create a chart, if you have a chart, if I, let me let me show you a chart here. Assuming I have a chart here. I create a chart here, and 
a chart. Actually, yeah, I rarely use Google, Google chart, but now I created a chart here. You can see the chart is uh, for Apple revenue here. Now, if I change to another company, I change to a company that Warren Buffett just bought, HPQ. And if put it in, it, it start to load. And once it load, you can see that uh, the HPQ revenue is drawn here. The chart is, is already uh, automatically updated. And uh, you, can, you can do lots of things. And uh, we created some templates for you to make it easier for you. And I'll show you, I'll show you some templates here. For instance, one template, okay, uh, one template we create, one template we created, it's called uh, financial temp temple templates. Okay, it's again, it's under tools and Google Sheet. And it's, if you just scroll down a little bit, it's, uh, it's, there are some templates we created. And uh, let me show you this financial template here and click on it and confirm. Okay, it's, it's already showing here. And uh, because first time, it always shows actually a login. I think if I refresh it, uh, because I'm already logged in. Okay, anyway, uh, now for you, you, the way you use it, you always need to make a copy. You cannot use it automatically. You have to make a copy. And uh, once you make a copy, it will be your file because I opened that file, it's, it's not mine. And once you create, open, uh, once you uh, make a copy, it will be your file. And uh, sometimes maybe it, it, it doesn't load the first time, but now I check the extension. Okay, extension is not here yet, now it's here. It's sometimes first time, it, Takes a little bit of time to load. Uh, yeah, now it's loading. Yeah, because I take when you create a copy, make a copy, it takes some time for the system to recognize the file because Google uh, Sheet, uh, Google Sheets is not your on your local machine; it's on the cloud. So it takes some time to load. And uh, sometimes when when it's not loading, you can refresh it, and it should load uh, af after after a little bit of time. Let me, yeah, now see it's it's loaded. Uh, yeah, uh, when it's not loading, make sure that you're log, logged in, which I am. And uh, when still not loading, you refresh the file a few times, it should work. And that's a, that is a financial template we created, which is actually similar to what, uh, the, similar to the 30 year financial page we have. Similar to the 30-year financial page we have on the website, for instance, this is Apple's 30-year financial, and we have these bar charts here, and the name, dates, name here, and uh, dates, uh, different items. This is similar to what we have on the website, but now if we change to a different uh, company, for instance, I just changed to Tesla, and I, ref I return it, I, I enter it, and it will load everything for you. Yeah, it, it loads, yeah, all the Tesla, uh, Tesla data here. And if I change to just example, I change to another one, uh, another one, uh, Moody's. Uh, it's like one of my favorite uh, example I always use, Moody's, uh, Warren, Buffett com uh, Warren Buffett holding. And uh, yeah, if you enter that, uh, if you enter that, it will load everything for you and the chart is updated already. Uh, it's, it's really easy, easy to use. I would, I would say that uh, this is uh, easier than the Excel ID we, we have been using. The main, main thing is that uh, you will, once you install it and uh, log in to your Google folks account, log in your Google account, you would not be required to do any installation in the future. With the Excel ID, we always need to uh, install, reinstall it. Uh, that's uh, the disadvantage because Google Sheets is on the cloud. And now I, I want to show you some more. Uh, okay, I close this one. So some more templates. 
I think these are templates we have actually uh, on for the XRID. We created a, a similar template. Uh, if I, it's historical financial charts template. And um, yeah, again, I need to make, you always need to make a copy. And as actually we highlighted it here, you always need to make a copy because otherwise it's not your file. It's uh, the ownership of the file is, is not yours. So uh, that's why we highlight here, make sure that click file, make a copy. And uh, make a, once you make a copy like here, it will be yours. And now I make a copy. And I can create the one, I, I, the, the original one. And uh, again, just like uh, usually it does, uh, it, it takes a little bit of time to recognize it. Uh, make sure that once extension is here, yeah, you can open sidebar, you can, uh, you don't have to open it all the time. Yeah, and now it's loading. First time it, it's a little bit uh, slow. Uh, once it's it's a little bit slow first time all, always. I, I refresh a little bit once or twice. And then first time it, yeah, now it's, I think, uh, yeah, it's loading now. And it will draw the chart for you. Yeah, now the chart is here. The, uh, it, it draw, and this is the financial data. And uh, this is a chart. Uh, revenue per share, earnings per, earnings per share, book value per share, always with a year to year growth. Uh, the, the yellow line is year over year growth. And, uh, and now if I want to change to a different company, it will automatically update if I just uh, wait a little bit, uh, waiting for the data to come from Guru Focus. And this now, the chart is updated. So uh, this is just example. You can use it as a, as a base for you to create your own templates. And I think it will, uh, it will make your research process much faster. Although we have the GuruFox website, but the, the elements on the website may not be everything you need. And in this, by using this, uh, templates by using this Google Sheets or Excel in you can save lots of time with your research. You can add a lot more personal data information in here on your own, on your own file. No one else can see it. You can combine it with your own file, your own data, and uh, it'd be very easy. And here are some more functions. Okay, if you want to insert a Google F file in any cell, just highlight the cell and click on insert. And of course, if you know what the ticker, you can just type the ticker here, but uh, sometimes you want to use the ticker on the sheet. What you can do is click on here and uh, then click on the cell where the ticker is and continue. Uh, it, it will, yeah, it will enter the cell position here. And if I here I enter market cap, market cap for instance, okay, my market cap in millions of dollars and uh, I just insert it, it it's here. And now um, when, for instance, when it's a personal portfolio, a personal portfolio and you want to update the price data and because of financial data here, they don't change that much, but you want to look up to the price data and you want to update the, uh, the ratios valuation ratios, actually we, you can refresh a cell and you can just select update price. It, the prices will be updated. It will only update the price in this case. And of course you can select update the complete worksheet and it will take longer time. It will use more of your queries. And so normally if you, you just update the price, it should set, satisfy most of your needs. 